very quickly, I will walk you through how to join the Indivisible Berkeley Slack team. Uh, Slack is a team messaging app that we are using to coordinate uh, across the different interest-based and internal teams uh, so that we can all communicate and collaborate better. So the first thing you're going to need to do is go to indivisibleberkeley.org. There is a sign-up link that we have placed on the website, and so we need to go and find that. Once you're at indivisibleberkeley.org, find the contact page. Once you find the contact page, you can scroll down until you see a header that is labeled Slack. In the paragraph below, there is a link that you can click on to join our Slack group. Once you click on that link, it will ask you for your email address. Uh, put a real email address in here because you'll need to be able to confirm that address in order to activate your account. You should get an email within a few seconds. Open that email and click on the confirmation button inside of it. Now you can create your account. Uh, it will ask you for your first and last name and it will ask you to create a username. This username only applies inside of our particular Indivisible Berkeley Slack, so feel free to use your real name if you're comfortable with other people knowing it. Next, you're going to need to create a password. Make sure your password is long enough and meets Slack's requirements. I highly recommend that you use password management software, but that's an issue for another video. Now you'll need to carefully read the terms and conditions. Once you've done that, you can click Agree. In a few seconds, you'll be taken into our Slack. You can visit our Slack at indivisibleberkeley.slack.com. There's a dash between Indivisible and Berkeley. When you first join, there is a short tutorial that tells you about some of the features of Slack including channels and direct messages and how to invite additional people. All the action in Slack uh, is organized into channels on different topics. Here's the general channel, which is just for any sort of general indivisible Berkeley discussion. You can go in here, type your message in the message bar and send that out. If you look at the header in this group, there are 135 people in here. So if you post a message, they will be able to see it. You can click on some of these other channels that you've already joined, like announcements. Uh, so the announcements channel is where the team leaders and the steering team can post announcements for everyone to see. Uh, here's the training team. So you can go over here and post messages uh, that are related to trainings either inside Indivisible Berkeley or trainings that are being held by other organizations. So we're going a little fast here, but you can see within these channels, you can scroll up to see different conversations that have happened over time. Now, if you look on the channels button here, it says 30. There are actually 30 different channels. Uh, so you can click on channels and you can view all of these different 30 channels. And if you see one that looks interesting, like here's Book Club, you can click on it to preview it. And you can scroll around and see what people are talking about. If it looks interesting or you'd like to share something, you can click on the green Join Channel button to add that channel to the list of channels you're subscribed to in the left-hand bar. Once you've joined, you can post. And that concludes our first tutorial.